we have our last week of school next week and it couldn't come soon enough. Let me just tell you, <laughs> I am kind of done with the school year. I will be done with summer within a week of summer. I get it, but I'm done, like done, done, done with school. I'm done with testing, the state testing that they do at the end that makes our kids physically ill because of the pressure. And this is talking third, fourth, and fifth graders. I am done with, you know, the kids are done. So the teachers are done. Everybody is done. We should have called it three weeks ago and just been like, all right, that's, we're good. We're good. We were close to 180 days. I think we can call it. We're at the 11th hour and, you know, we had these EOG state testing this week and it was horrible. It was horrible. And then, you, you know, you got the teacher conferences and then <laughs> don't even get me started on the grade school end of school stuff. So I have one week left of school of my school year, which means the kids aren't home. OK, so I got one week to get done a whole lot of stuff. Like I got a lot of stuff because I got three kids that are going to be on top of my head demanding that we go places and like vacation and stuff. <laughs> and so. I have one week to get as much work done and things done and around the house that I need to. But no, 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 no. We're, whoa, no, no. That's not going to happen. Why? Because now we're going into the week of parties. Instead of just calling it and saying, listen, we're good. We're good. The kids aren't learning anymore. The kids haven't been learning since probably April 30th. So um, we can go ahead and just call it here because but no, 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 what they want to do is they want to take the whole last five days and just make it parties, but not just parties for them, because that's how it was when I was growing up. I'd go to the parties and everything. I didn't see my mom at the school. My dad didn't take off work to come to the school. No, we had our own little class parties, just our friends and our teacher. And we went home like a normal day. No, 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 not anymore. Now, now. What is it? Now it's a, I need to be there on Tuesday for reading theater. Then I have to be there on Wednesday for one party. Then I have to be there on Thursday for another party. Don't forget to sign up for 75 different cupcakes. Oh, and don't, cupcakes, please make sure they're store-bought, but they have to be store-bought from a certain place. Don't you dare try to make something homemade, which I get, but it's my last week of school. <laughs> So, you know, me showing up and I've got like a calendar and there's all these emails going back and forth. You forgot the money for the teachers. We're making rolls of dollar bills and putting it on a tree. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then like, I'm telling you, and we just had soccer tryouts and we had sports tryouts and I'm like a tornado and I'm just done. I'm like, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to go to the parties. I don't want to. I am sorry. I love my kids. And I'll be happy to see them when they get home at 2.30. That's right. They get home at 2.30. Why? Because we get up at 6. We get up at 6 in the morning to get them on the bus by 6.30. So they're home at 2.30. Really early. Really early, my friend. So I have plenty of time to hang out with my kids. We go swimming. We read. We do all kinds of fun stuff from 2.30 on. I don't need to be at the school. But now all the pressure is like, listen. You have to be at the school. You have to be at the school, Holly, because every other mom and dad are at the school. And I look around and they are. And I'm like, don't you guys have jobs? Don't you work? How are you here at 1230 in the afternoon or 10 in the morning? How? How are you here? I don't know. I don't know. Everybody just doesn't have jobs at the end of May and beginning of June. But that happens throughout the whole year. Christmas, I'm thinking... Why don't these people have jobs? But it's all of the peer pressure, the parent pressure that you are a horrible mom if you don't show up for these parties. And then my kids are like, wait, you're not gonna come to the party? No, no, I don't wanna go to the party. But you know what I'll do? I will pick up my big mom pants and I'll go to the party and I'll stand in the back of the room all awkward like the rest of the mom and dads as if we really shouldn't be there because it doesn't make sense. And we just kind of hover. It's like the room of the helicopter parents. And we're like, oh, look, they're doing crafts. Hi, hi, Judy. Oh, hi, Tim. And we're not really doing the crafts with them, are we? No, 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 no. We just go and we hover. We hover because we need to be present. 
We're present in their lives. We're already present. I'm present from 2.30 on. And as a matter of fact, I'm present at 6 in the morning. They would probably do better without me. They want to hang out with their friends. They see mom from 2.30 on and on the weekends and the holidays and the rest of the summer. And come on, we, we have our time. But I, I, don't, I don't need to sit there and watch them make marshmallow crafts and then there's too many parents and we're all and they have like these little baby chairs lined up and there's like six of them there's 20 parents you don't really you don't interact with them and you're just standing there i'm standing there giving my kid the side eye that he's not paying attention and he's not doing what he's supposed to do on party day and so i'm like get in your seat and everyone else's kids are like (laughs) so (laughs) i'm done i don't want to do it anymore I don't want the last week of school of the parties and the the sending everything into the classrooms and oh my God, you did, I, ah, <laughs> it might help if I talked to the principal a couple days ago. I may have dropped a curse word or so. I'm not a perfect parent. It's the worst. And, you know, you get the calls from the principal that my kids, you know, um, clowning. I'm like, listen, he's seven. He's seven years old. And you guys, And, you know, oh, he wasn't taking the testing seriously because you didn't tell him it was serious. And you know what? Maybe you should have given mom a heads up that you were having testing that day. Because you know what? It doesn't go down in my house where he clowns during important things. No, 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 it doesn't. But if you've not told me, because you did tell me for the third, fourth, and fifth grade exactly when those EOGs are. Oh, good Lord. The whole school knows when the EOGs are for the entire year because that's all they really teach to do is how to take that test. But for the second graders, they have some kind of other test to see if they can read but no don't worry to tell mom that that's the day because that day in a seven-year-old's life it could have been raining out there could have been he could have gone to bed a little late maybe he was thinking of you know teen titans i don't know but now you're worried that he's like wasn't paying attention he wasn't taking it seriously hey i didn't even know it was it was happening and then God, I guess he can go on and on. So then the principal says to me too, he's like, well, I just don't think he can focus because if I rock in the room, he gets up out of his chair and greets me. He's seven. He's seven. Of course he does. Of course he does. Ah. (laughs) That is my thing for my Friday is I'm done with school. (laughs) Oh, you know what else I'm done with? Forgot to tell you this too. You know what else I'm done with? I'm done with doing sixth grade homework. I already went through sixth grade. I went to fifth grade. I went all the way through college. To be, as, as a matter of fact, I don't need to do it again. I don't need to learn about ancient Egypt and ancient Mesopotamia and India. Oh, but not to worry. When you have a sixth grader, that's what exactly you get to do. You get to relearn all of it. So when you're in third and fourth grade, or you have a third and fourth grader, you get to learn common core math. Then you'll probably drown yourself in the toilet after you learn that. But not to worry, it doesn't end with that. When you get to sixth grade, then you get to relearn everything because they do need help studying. I'm like, I don't want to study anymore. I did my work. <laughs> I like don't want to do it. The one good thing about the sixth grader as opposed to the elementary school, there's none of this party garbage. And they may have parties, but they're not for the parents. Oh, no, you don't show up for the sixth grade parties. You drive up, you pick them up on the last day, and you're gone. There's no sending, you know, cupcakes to school that are only store-bought and only store-bought at a certain thing. No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do anything. And they don't want you there anyway. Their sixth graders do not want the helicopter mom standing in the back of the room going, do you have a fidget spinner out? What are you doing over there? Uh Uh-huh. Why are you looking at him? What? They don't want that. They don't want dumb old mom there and dad. Come on. So at least that is the good part of sixth grade is that I don't have to show up to the parties. And my daughter just informed me that she doesn't need to go for the last day. And I'm like, what? why are we not going for the last day? She has even the teacher said, we shouldn't even come because it's just cleaning and it's really boring. That's what, <laughs> that's the 180th day. I know we have to get to 180 days, but the 180th day is make the kids clean. Like I get it. Like they should clean for sure. But why? Why? I, I I don't know. So she's like, I don't, I don't have to go the, the last day because we just clean. I was like, well, I guess if that's, if that's the case, then I guess why would I send her to clean? She, I can keep her home and clean. <laughs> I mean, if she's going to be cleaning, I got a house to clean. So I don't know. It is time for a summer break for Holly. <laughs> um, so I, I believe <laughs> that I've hit my breaking point with school. So, how's everybody else doing?
<laughs> because they're like, she's she's done lost her mind. She's done lost her mind in North Carolina. She just she can't take it no more. She can't take it. She's gonna go and homeschool her kids. But we're afraid of that. We don't want Holly to be homeschooling her kids because clearly she don't even want to do homework. So she can't homeschool. <laughs> Because she doesn't want to do sixth grade homework and she really hates Common Core and wants to drown herself in the toilet. She can't do a homeschooling kind of program. So <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have gone live today. 